Chuck him. While well, you're still ahead and not pregnant with his unwanted child. I only said that he was working late. Oh, that's his story. One hour from now, he'll be coming in his secretary's mouth while he rings you to say what he wants for starters. Friends, they spend years trying to find you a boyfriend, but the moment you get one, they instantly tell you to dump him. Even if he isn't shagging that already, Bridge, he's thinking about it. If a man is going out with a woman with large breasts, he will bed a woman with small breasts. Rubbish. Mark's above all that nonsense. Jellyfish alert. Jellyfish alert. Janie Osborne. Talking to her is like swimming in a sea and being stung repeatedly by an enormous jellyfish. Bridget. How's it going with that divine man of yours? Mm. You must be so pleased to have a boyfriend at last. First jellyfish of the evening. Is he taking you to the Law Council dinner? Oh. Well, I'm sure he's just forgotten. Mm. I'll just start slimming into that dress. <laughs> so he's giving you the night off to cheer up all your single friends. Sweet. Actually, he's got a big case on. Trying to get everyone in Mexico out of prison. We're meeting for a very late romantic dinner. Really? That's so odd, because I saw him just an hour ago going into his house with little Rebecca Gillies. She's only 22. She's got legs up to here. And Daddy owns half of Australia. See you, babes. <laughs> Who is Rebecca Gillies? And what's she doing going into my boyfriend's house? Where he never asks me. And with legs up to here. My legs only come up to there. You have fine legs, Bridget. Climber's legs. I say go over there immediately and ask him, straight out. Are you or are you not having an affair with Rebecca Gillies? If he says... I won't dignify that question with an answer. Then you know he's shagging her.